ஞானானந்தமய தேவம் நிர்மல ஸ்பட்டிகாகிருதம் ஆதாரம் சர்வ வித்யானாம் ஹய கிரீவம் உபாசகே வெல்கம் பேக் டு அர்லி ஸ்டுடியோ ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஹய கிரீவர் ஹார்ஸ் ஃபேஸ்ட் ஹார்ஸ் நெக்ட் விஷ்ணு அவதார் வாட் ஐ எம் ட்ரைங் டு டூ is just the third layer so a lot of things about it will change as we go along um right now what i am working on is some base important base to set for uh, uh the details to come in for example the eyes one has to look like sun and the other has to look like moon so i have what i have done is the base colors here so once uh, that dries up then i will start working on the details so how many details i have to work on that's a good question um this uh, image uh, like i said in my previous videos is easily available on the internet however it doesn't have the features as described in mahabharata about i agree with so it lacks certain information and that's where i started doing some sort of analysis and i will just show you that in a while right here <coughs> coming back so this is the image that is traditionally found and traditionally prayed to if it come to comes to i agree with and as you can see the ears look like human ears um and you know a lot of things also look like a human eye mostly so it doesn't follow the principles and here is the list of requirements that i have made and how it has to look uh, based on the notes i took from dr venkatesh upanyasams in tamil language so i listen to it and have managed to make this notes but to translate that notes into an image is what hyagriva has to help me figure out how to i have just told him that it's not something that i can do without his help definitely so what i'm doing right now is that um Uh, as a part of uh, the changes there will be a constellation the star constellation should come somewhere around his head so i thought of making that as a part of his crown usually the traditional crown that we have for all gods and goddesses here i don't want to have that so i want to have the star constellation itself as the crown that's one of the things among the many things and there has to be also a omkara nadam the uh, sound of om how do you make the sound of om on a painting and that's something i have thought a lot about and um, i kind of have an idea but for that this has to be even more darker the background so i'll have to do one more coat this is an i think i did um, one layer of light blue wash and then there is two more layer of this blackish blue uh, which i did i think i need one more layer to go after that the deep darkness will come and hopefully i should be able to start working on that as well of course in the meantime i'm also doing this is very much you know vishnu in both the forms so I'm also working on this. I've managed to write about uh, 30 more names of uh, Sri Vishnu. It's now to 130 now. Um I have 20 more names to write and then start working on a uh, few more details over the weekend. What I plan to do is to finish one more coat of this blue. so that this is you know fully wet and then it needs 4 or 5 days rest while i can switch to our 
Vishnu right there. So that's the plan. I will start sharing more details into this each and every aspect, what it means and such when it comes to each part of it. But for now, it also means a lot of white to work on. The white has to look different. He himself has to look on the uh, in a whiter side, the spatika side. And their clothing has to be white. The lotus is white. The moon is white. But everything has to be different types of white. So uh, <clears throat> that's a bit of a challenge. I'm trying to show differentiations in terms of the uh, type of tonality of white that I want to do. So that's what is happening. <clears throat> Nothing more. Thank you. Bye-bye.